Today I'm showing you how to create R2D2 in Ableton using Serum. And I'm going to let R2D2 do the intro to this video. So making R2D2 is actually very simple. I'm first going to show you the sound that we're going to make. So that's the basic demonstration of the sound. So I'm going to create a new track, a new MIDI track and create the sound from scratch for you guys. So first we're going to open Serum and we're going to disable oscillator A. The next thing you want to do is turn on the noise oscillator because that is what's going to make the sound. And we are going to set it to text miscellaneous and select claps LR2. I tried a bunch of different types of noises, white noise, pink noise, um, organ noise, but this one seemed to be working the best for me. And we're going to turn the level all the way up and set the master a little bit higher as well, like this. What is going to make the blipping sound that R2D2 makes is the filter going across the frequency spectrum of the noise. So what we do next is add a filter to this assign it to the noise oscillator and select a band 24 filter. Then we are going to want to turn on the resonance all the way and if you start sweeping the cutoff now we will start to hear out R2D2. And as you can hear it already sounds really familiar but we're going to make a few more adjustments to make it sound even more realistic. So I am going to assign the cutoff knob to this mod macro wheel. The reason why I do this is because I can select the lower and upper range of the sound. Otherwise the high frequencies are going to be way too high and the low ones are going to be way too low for R2D2. So I'm going to select the lowest possible frequency first. I do this by setting the macro 1 to 0% and swipe sweeping the cutoff filter all by pressing notes on my keyboard to see where it sounds the best. I don't think I want R2-D2 to sound any lower than that, so that's where I'm going to leave it. Next up, we're going to change how high R2-D2 can get. We're doing this by setting macro 1 to 100% and changing this value of the cutoff filter. So this is about as high as I want R2-D2 to get. So lastly, we want to turn down sustain all the way and make the decay a little bit shorter to around 300 to 400 uh, milliseconds. And this is going to give us this nice little blip. Let's sweep across the spectrum to demonstrate this. So now I'm pressing notes on my keyboard while adjusting this macro one. I'm actually going to map this to my keyboard. And how do we do this? We can close Serum now. It's by clicking this little arrow, uh, go to configure, press macro one, and we click configure again so it's not green anymore. Then we press control M on our keyboard or command M on Mac, click this and turn the knob we want to assign. And as you can see, now this is assigned to knob one slash one on my MIDI keyboard. Next up we can make R2-D2 even more ridiculous sounding and we do that by adding a little bit of ring modulation. I have this free plugin called ADC Ring 2, not sponsored, but this plugin does a really good job at ring modulating the sound. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We also want to assign this to a new MIDI knob on my MIDI keyboard or you can just play around with it with your mouse, but I like assigning it. So we do this in the same way, we click, we press Ctrl M on our keyboard or Command M if you're on Mac, click Rate and turn the knob. And as you can see, it's now assigned to macro 1 slash 2 on my MIDI keyboard. One last thing I want to do is add a little bit of EQ to cut out some of the lows. So we are going to do that. All right, that will do. And lastly, we are going to add a limiter and that is just to make the sound louder because it's really quiet now but we also don't want it to peak so that's why I'm not turning up the master volume in Serum all the way. 
I'm going to set the limiter to about 10 dB and that should too. And this is the full tutorial on how to make R2-T2 in Serum and now I'm going to show you how he sounds. And obviously you can just play around with it, get random, get crazy, do some weird stuff with the knobs, or you can also use automations to make it easier to play without having to turn two knobs at the same time, which was I, which I was doing. So we're going to open automation view and automate the ADC ring rate. I am going to draw this in by pressing B, I can open the pencil. And I'm going to draw in some random values, make it really crazy. And if I then play this back and press some notes on my keyboard, you're going to hear this get randomized. You get the point. So thank you for watching. This was the tutorial and I'm going to let RTD2 do the outro as well. My name is Matt Flank, peace out.